President Trump had made the point he would like to see us have a similar Iron Dome type layered defense system. Of course, with everything Trump, you know, he wants to call it Golden Dome <laughs> instead of Iron Dome. But basically, it's just a layered missile defense system that is more layered up than what we already have. We mm -hmm. already have, obviously, a missile defense system for the continental United States. This would create a, a, a significant space-based low Earth orbit mm -hmm. sensor capacity that mm -hmm. is much more sophisticated than what we have now, along with some additional interceptors. And obviously, this would be exactly in the wheelhouse of Huntsville. <laughs> Absolutely. They are, they are the leader in the missile heart, defense. Heart of it all, right? And they're growing in the space mission up there. Uh, I expect sometime during the month of April that Space Command will officially be um, assigned to build its headquarters in Huntsville. But they already have a big space mission up there. Uh, so this will be Let's a break ground in that fast, right? As uh, soon as that's signed, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. I've already talked with the contractor. <laughs> he is ready to turn dirt on the day the announcement's boom, made, and it, we do expect it to be announced right after the Air Force Secretary is named. But the point is, for Huntsville, this is exactly in their wheelhouse. And, and forgive me if this analogy is off, but but I I look back to President Reagan, my hero and and he he sort of uh, initiated uh, SDI Star Wars Star Wars and brilliant pebbles and did every initiative meet its goal probably not but you needed the vision and it certainly met the strategic intent which uh, not only served as an ultimate deterrent but also arguably bankrupted the Soviet Union right that's exactly what it did I've, I've told so many people in, in the last few months as I've been trying to talk about we need to increase defense spending it was Reagan's dual approach. He first took defense spending to 6% of GDP, mm -hmm. and he said, we're going to create this uh, Star Wars mm -hmm. system that will be able to take out missiles coming, coming into in. the United States yep. from space. Yep. And Russia, I mean, at that time, the Soviet, Soviet Union yeah. had to tap out. They could not keep up from a financial standpoint, and it brought them down. Mm -hmm. That's what I want people to understand about why Roger Wicker and I are mm -hmm. pushing to get defense spending up to 5%. If we do that, our adversaries, but for China, will have to just say, exactly. I can't do that, and I'm not sure China will be able to, to keep up with us if we really are serious about it. But it, it's exactly that Reagan approach. 